We're live here in Clifton Forge. We're about to do a review of the B3-1 rifle in 177 caliber pellet. Okay guys, this is gonna be the unboxing and tabletop review of the B3 pellet rifle and this V-Life scope that I bought to go with it. So we'll start with the scope. Okay, so the... Uh, This must be the rings. I think this is the rings that go on it. And it comes with these protectors. It goes from three to nine power, which is crazy because I only paid like 30 bucks for this. This looks really high quality. And then you can adjust, I think this is the focus. You can adjust the focus from 10 yards all the way to 200. That's kind of crazy. So yeah, these are the mounting rings that come separate in the box. They come with a little hex, hex wrench, Allen wrench. Here's the, the lens wipe. Alright, I'll put these rings on in a little bit. I'm not going to put it on right now, but let's check to see the quality of it. You know, honestly, this is really amazing for 40 bucks, and I'll post the link below. I'm not an Amazon affiliate yet, which means I'm not getting any kickbacks for this, but um, as soon as I fill out my application, I'll let you guys know. That way you can help me out. All right, so here's the rifle itself. Now the reason I wanted to get this is because I've always tried to do well with you know basic standard stock equipment. When I was in the Army, I wanted to do the standard rifle, standard service rifle marksmanship competition. Uh, I didn't really get to do it, but it would have been nice because I always try to do well with what I have. Oh, so this looks like, yep, pellets. These are cheap pellets that they come with. Be careful not to breathe any of this dust in because that's very hazardous. So I got 200 of these. I'll probably get some better ones later. Gammo makes some really good pellets. I remember a buddy of mine in high school, we used to go hunting with these in the alleys behind our houses. He had one like this and the barrel was bent. The barrel was bent to the left. You could visibly see it. It looked like it got run over by a truck. And he was still dropping targets left and right. It's crazy. And of course I got this from Amazon also. And it was only like $60. Here's the manual, that's what it looks like. So there's no, there's a raw wooden butt stock. There's no rubber on it. I might change that later though. But. I'm not going to have all kinds of accessories for this because that would defeat the purpose of wanting something just simple and stock. I like how it really favors the SKS and uh, you can tell that by the stock as well as the, the hooded front side on it. I really like that. It's really crisp, the sight picture is. 
and I like the under lever. You just cock it like this. It's pretty strong. Then you put a pellet in here. Pellet goes in there. You return the lever to its holding spot and it's ready to go. This one does not appear to have a safety, y'all, so you really have to be careful and know what you're doing. Remember the movie Black Hawk Down? This is my safety, sir. <laughs> but no, seriously, guys, do not load this until you're ready to shoot. You know, always obey the, the fundamental gun safety laws. Wow, that was really nice. The trigger is really easy. It doesn't take a lot of force to pull it back. And I just hit a sign over there. <laughs> but my initial thoughts is, honestly, I can't wait to get the scope on this and take it out and get it zeroed. And also adjust the, uh, this back sight here is adjustable for windage and elevation, which is pretty impressive for a $60 gun. The stock is nice, but I've heard that the, the lacquer on it kind of cracks later. But you know what? That's fine. It adds a little bit of character. I kind of like that. But the main reason you will never see me with a brake barrel, and I'll admit, my first rifle, my first pellet rifle was a brake barrel. It was a Beeman FH500 with the Monte Carlo stock. But you know, every time you break the whole barrel down and put a pellet in it, when you put it back up, it's off. The zero is off by, you know, it's it's imperceivable here, but you'll know it downrange because you'll miss your target, and depending on how big or small your target is. Now, with these pellet guns, I always like to shoot at a uh, paper plate because they make the best targets. So anyways, guys, this is it for the uh, tabletop review and first impressions, and I'll update you guys when I get it taken out and uh, really stretch its legs. Oh, guys, these scope rings are not going to work, y'all. It's way too big. Dang it. So now I'm going to have to order an adapter or something to get this to work. Crud. All right, guys, you should always read the manual anytime you have any type of weapon like this. I have the Model B31. My allergies are killing me, so look past it these are actually three different calibers according to the manual one's a 177 caliber or 4.5 millimeter that's the one I have they also make a 22 and a 25 caliber in case you're interested all right so like I said I'm gonna have to get an, a, an adapter for the scope rail because this is smaller than my scope rings but anyways I think I have an adapter somewhere at home. I'll have to look to see if I do. But I didn't buy this because I enjoy killing things. I don't really want to kill anything, to be honest with you. But I was in the Army, and once a soldier, always a soldier. And med uh, marksmanship to me is more like a form of meditation now. I'm, I'm getting away from the military mindset, you know, somewhat. Because I don't want to always think about killing and whatnot. But I just do this just to be, you know, one with the weapon and sending rounds down range and putting them in a nice tight group. That's pretty much it. But I will say I really like how they put this together. I like that it's cheap and well made. It's crazy. I really like the uh, Soviet vibes I get from this. <laughs> like I said, it's, it's very characteristic of the SKS. So there's the uh, the grooved buttstock, no rubber. I'll try to find me a rubber one. But like I said, I'm not going to over accessorize this. I want to keep it pretty basic. You know, it's just a $60 pellet rifle.
All right, I'm actually going to be shooting at the box that it came in, which is only about 60 feet away, 65 feet, something like that. I measured it with my stride, but I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. All right, I don't know how much I'll be able to zero it today, but right now the goal is just to get some nice tight groups. I don't know how well these uh, cheapo pellets that it came with, I don't know how well these are going to do either. It's nice. It's got a very nice trigger on it. Sam, no. Come here, buddy. Over here. Come here, Sam. Get out of the way. Go play that way, buddy. Go. Always make sure the area between you and the target is clear. I like the feel of the stock because I, I feel like it's great for people with big hands. And sometimes that's the problems I have when I buy, you know, weapons and tools and things. Okay, that one, I kind of rushed it. Pretty sure I jerked the trigger on that one. All right, that's four shots. We're gonna go see how it did. All right, we got a lot of things coming into play right here. So I'm pretty sure that one of these two is the one that I jerked, probably this one. So anyways, it's, an, it's a nice tight group. I mean, all shots are on target. You know, it's probably about a four inch group, four and a half, but you know, that's not really horrible considering that it's not zeroed i'm using horrible ammo and i don't have a, a steady platform to shoot from i'm just shooting offhand on my knee all right i think i'm gonna shoot at least two more groups just to get a better feel for it I'm used to putting the safety on after every shot, but there isn't one. I really kind of wish there was. All right, I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with it. This is a much better group. This is probably like a inch and a half, two inch group. Not really bad. See, once you get used to it, it starts becoming your friend.
All right, so I just took a piece of charcoal and made this black dot so I could shoot at it. But now this is a little bit worse. That's another probably four inch group right there from here to here. But these two are nice. So I think if I had more of a steady platform, I don't think I'm gonna get a bipod for this though. Really the only thing I think I'm gonna get is maybe a sling uh, piece of rubber for the butt pad and obviously the adapter so I can mount the scope and that's about it. Old habits die hard, baby. All right, just so y'all know, I do have permission to be here. This is a, the property of an older gentleman, and I see him all the time when I come here. He's usually driving a big backhoe or something. He's actually made this look really nice. This used to be a very narrow, very muddy path, and he's widened it. And you know, he's got really good drainage. Anyway, so back to the rifle. Um, being that this is only like a $60 gun, free shipping by the way, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it through the ringer. So I'm gonna leave it loaded, you know, so see if the uh, air seeps out or anything like that. I really wish I had a chronograph. That's the one thing that I'm missing for this type of review. But um, if you guys have any suggestions, put it down in the comments below I will put this thing through its paces and see what all it can do. For a $60 gun, it's not really that bad. I really like it. We're also live here in Mosquito City, so we're about to head to the house. <laughs> 